Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Plays the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. I actually missed the daily yesterday, which doesn't happen that often. Mathis has a really good score today. No, like only Bear did the daily yesterday? It was Lilith to Mom's Heart? Well, not only Bear. I mean, that's a little insulting, but uh, of, of the, you know, the DK crew that we talk about all the time. Today, Mathis with a pretty killer score, 37,000. Uh, where does it go? It goes to Satan. 37,000 to Satan. That could represent a teleport. We're starting as Isaac here, by the way. That could represent a teleport to the dark room. Uh, we won't know until we get a little further. Definitely, that seems to be close to, I wouldn't say the maximum, but what you would consider to be like the upper bounds. Like the upper bounded range, at least, of a, of a Satan run. So, of course, the ideal for us. I like to lay this out because a lot of people, and to some extent myself included, still aren't fully... Uh, aware of kind of the, the repercussions of the self-sacrifice room stuff. So I like to lay out what would be an ideal path that helps, you know, crystallize it for me as well. Um, maybe not take that pill. Pills have been kind of bad for us lately. Um, but uh, I, like to, I like to kind of crystallize the path that I would like to take myself. So we definitely want to do boss rush. That's a constant on pretty much every single run where we can make it happen. Especially as Isaac, you got to imagine we have a better than usual chance. Um, that gives us an extra 4,400 points roughly. We definitely want to do Hush because this one goes past Mom's Heart, so that's another 5,500. And then to get a self-sacrifice room and have the HP to use it to get to the Dark Room on, um, mm, interesting. On, uh, the Shoal Floor would be ideal. Little Loki is, I have to say, if you look at the opportunity cost here, it's not that bad. If we'd re-rolled, we wouldn't have gotten Little Loki. We could have gotten anything else. Could have been better, could have been worse. And we wouldn't have had a re-roll ready for our boss fight. Although, now that I think about it, is there any active item that gets paid out from boss fights? The answer is probably no. So, I guess that's kind of antiquated. Well, not antiquated, but just wrong. Um, so, the question becomes, would you rather have Little Loki or an unknown item... Okay, might as well take both spirit hearts now, probably. Or an unknown item in the mystery box. I'd probably rather have the unknown item in the mystery box. I would love to be dishonest <laughs> and say, uh, you know, I'd rather have uh, Little Loki. It might be an above average item, but, you know, the way that Isaac works, you typically want to... You'd much rather have one item that's very, very above average than, you know, ten items that are just a little bit above average, right? Like, what is what is one mom's knife worth relative to Little Loki? Infinite Little Lokis almost, you know, more than you could have on the screen, I'm guessing. So, um... The odds are we probably wouldn't have gotten something, you know, that much better than Little Loki. Could very well have gotten something worse, but, uh, you know, something worse, unless it's soy milk or something like that, something transformative, is not actually going to cost us too much. It's just going to cost us Little Loki, so. Um, we're, we're in a great position for, at the very least, getting a deal with the devil on this floor. Do we have a curse again? No curse. That's pretty exciting. Um, can easily get to our item room. We should do our damnedest to have a reroll ready for the deal with the devil in case it's hot ass trash and you know what if we like I can't believe Mathis is now in this mode where he does one daily a week and just puts down like an outrageously good score like, it's frustrating man cuz it uh, doesn't give me too many windows to try to get one over on him he's he's got my number lately um, at least for uh, at least for dailies we won't talk about how recent races have gone necessarily um, Good. Uh, what I was going to say, though, is if we want to compete with that Mathis score, the best thing we can do is just don't get hit. So far, so good, but, you know, not getting hit is going to be a, a real genuine part of my strategy here because every little bit of damage we take is going to make that harder and harder to accomplish. Although, I did see on the subreddit this week, and this was news to me, um, I saw that apparently the damage penalty scales based on what floor you're on. So getting hit on the basement is not that big of a penalty. And getting hit on like the chest or the dark room is an outrageously high penalty. So we're gonna try to uh, avoid that if possible. Obviously we'll take the PJs. Um, th this is an easy one. You take Sack Dagger. Probably shoot this just to be sure. Um, you take Sack Dagger, you take Guppy's Head, use it once and reroll. I just wish we didn't have to walk over the spikes so many times to do it. Oh, right, yeah. No, 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 no. Okay, what is this? Brother... <laughs> we did it! <laughs> it wasn't really that worth it, but we did it. And PJ's gives us a nice little spirit heart boon, so that's fine. 
at one HP, I figured we might as well take the pill. Uh, and let's move along. Look, I'm not happy we got hit on, on the spikes there twice, but again, not that much of a penalty. Picking up Brother Bobby, how do I feel about it? <laughs> Could be worse. We also got Sack Dagger, which is an awesome orbital. And the Two of Hearts card, which is probably meaningless, hopefully not forever, but at the very least for now. Can't deny that. We also got one Guppy item. I have to imagine that probably a Guppy Dream is in the... At least in the chance for us. Don't know if that's a, a phrase that actually makes any sense, but you know what I mean nonetheless. We're going to be out of here in a realistic amount of time to handle Boss Rush. This early. Polyphemus, obviously an incredibly good pickup. Means that, uh, you know, not only do we have really good damage from our orbitals, like really, really good damage from our orbitals this early, but um, fantastic damage from our tiers as well. We just have to, you know, plan accordingly because our rate of fire is pretty bad. Okay, I would have assumed that was the secret room. Maybe I placed it wrong. It didn't seem like it was supposed to be in the middle of those. That seemed like symmetrical, but like it wouldn't have lined up on the map appropriately, but that's okay. I'm trying to come at this one from an analytical standpoint because we're in a great position already. Let's check out our curse room. Technically would have been a little smarter to make sure we had a reroll ready. Um, but no, these are these are worth taking as is. And we'll start with Um We'll start with the mark, because they're going to be three spirit hearts each anyway. We might as well get our one spirit heart out of that one. We definitely want to take Incubus. Like, that's not a contest. And two extra spirit hearts out of that is beautiful. Okay. So now we basically got Polyphemus and then doubled it right after. So it's looking pretty amazing right now. HP is not even really that much of a problem, to be honest with you. That is a that's a really killer deal with the, with the devil there. Um... Of course, we could have re-rolled the Mark and tried for a Guppy item. I think if you re-roll Incubus there, if it worked out for you, then, you know, kudos. But, uh, that's, that's a tough one to re-roll. Incubus is pretty rapidly cementing itself as, uh, maybe one of my favorite Deal with the Devil items in the game. In fact, the pickup of Incubus makes me wish I didn't pick up Brother Bobby. Because Brother Bobby is gonna make it, you know, that much harder to actually land Incubus shots. Which isn't worth all that much, you know, like, it, it's not going to be a huge penalty. But at the same time, Brother Bobby's also not a huge benefit to have. So I'm not going to sweat it too much, but at the same time, it might have been better to just ignore Brother Bobby. I think we do take one HP. That is a debatable um, acquisition, one might say. Uh, but, you know, we can, we can turn this HP into something more later. We can, if we get a bunch of HP, we're going to be stoked because we'll be able to more easily play self-sacrifice rooms. You know, there, there's a lot of potential benefits associated with this and you know we're already so strong we have to start looking for our item room we, we can't just speed through the game at this point one bomb for two bombs obviously not like my ideal payout when it comes to a tinted rock there but it, it's a net gain <laughs> it's kind of a, a not an amazing haul for what we would have expected a, a tinted rock to give us in the first place but hey you know now if we find two more tinted rocks on this floor we can well, one more now that I found the secret room. But if we find one more tinted rock on this floor, we can make something good happen. I think we re-roll blank card. Even as a result of its potential to... As a result of its potential to break the game, I did have to think twice. And then I took Mystery Sack, which is a little bit weak as far as uh, secret room items go. And we did have another... Um, uh, da, 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 not yet. We did have another uh, battery charge available on the floor. But I, I think it's good enough. But again, this is a floor where a lot of people are probably going to have some some deviations there. That's actually what I was hoping for, is uh, Guppy's Paw. We have to sort of think about this one, though. Do we use Guppy's Paw on this floor? I think the answer is possibly? It's a weird one, though. Um, let's go back and get our battery charged, too. But we'll do the entire floor. This one could be big. I mean, this could very, very realistically turn us into Guppy. Well, that would have been nice, but... Not a huge deal. It doesn't look like shops are going to factor in too heavily here. So we're going to be we're going to be real strong by the end of this. One way or the other. I think the important thing is probably don't just accidentally reroll Guppy's paw as soon as you walk in. Do not do that. Um do we use Guppy's paw? I'm going to say no. You might be saying, "Well, it makes one red heart and three spirit hearts." But yeah, if we get a deal with the devil on the next floor, we'll lose those three spirit hearts anyway. That's a very poor haul. But it did give us 48 hour energy, which will give us another one reroll, unfortunately. Which turned into God's Flesh, which is only okay. Uh, if we if we messed up anything on this floor that might not be immediately obvious, it's probably that I think if we had just stayed, if we'd had a reroll when we went into the curse room, we would have been able 
to maybe get another deal with the devil item out of that red chest or another red chest item instead of like the universal pool but I'm not fully sure about that so it's one of those things that will remain kind of hidden to us but God's flesh is a decent pickup and of course getting a free guppy item is awesome as well definitely you know no problem with using two keys here very strong daily Two room. Rerolls all consumables on the ground. Uh, sure, it's probably not the best idea to use it right away, but we're going to do so anyway. Store credit is good. Infested is, you know, a few spiders. That pill is just bad gas. No big deal. All right, red chests. Just a regular chest, but that's okay. Store credit is going to be really nice. Or at least has the potential to be really nice. Even if a shop item is not that good, getting a not that good item for free is pretty solid. And if it's a good item, then even better. And, you know, worst case scenario, we buy a, a Spirit Heart and save five cents or something like that. Petrified Poop is a little bit too late to to be that useful. But, you know, it does give us a trinket we could feel okay about using after uh, we use store credit, which we'll definitely endeavor to do on this floor as long as there's not a greed in the shot. That's the first damage you've taken in quite some time. So I'm not not very disappointed about it, but we definitely should not have been hit there. Consumable game is coming way up, too. Not just thanks to Mystery Sack, but I do think Mystery Sack was okay. Hmm. It's a weird one. Rainbow Baby is, like, borderline good enough to pick up, but we have so many familiars. I'm still, like, most of the time I'm like, hey, we have so many familiars. Nice. I know I said I wasn't going to take pills, but it actually is working out pretty well. Um, dude, Tear Detonator is so good, but I can't really justify giving up the d6 to get tear detonator but it's so good <laughs> it really is maybe we wait a little ballsy there but maybe we wait until we see what's in this deal with the devil we could use our d6 one last time store credit into tear detonator the other one was just four pills and i have to admit 15 cents for four pills most of the time is not going to be great but, eh, Blind Rage could be okay, too, considering our orbitals. But in our current situation, we know there's a Tears Up. We know there's a 48-hour energy. You know, both of those, or even getting possibly two of those, each would be incredible. Especially because it looks like there's no other battery charge existing for us. I think we ignore Bum Friend, uh, to be honest with you. Yeah. I don't love the, the implication there, but... I think we probably ignore Bum Friend. Let's see what's in our... Well, where the heck even is our secret room? Um, well, I know I, with an idea where it is, but... Okay, okay. I, I, at least Mom's coin purse is passive. We'll see what those are. We got a nickel out of that one, too. 48-hour energy. We got infested. Puberty is not bad. We got a telepills, which, to be honest with you, isn't really worth it in the future. We got another telepills. We got 16 cents. I think you do buy a 3-cent spirit heart. I think you just kind of like, sounds sounds unfortunate, I think you just kind of eat it and say that we probably made the wrong decision there. Um, but we can't say, we, we won't know until the end of the run whether or not we should have taken Tear Detonator. That was pretty easy. No deal with the devil, which in a way is maybe actually good. Uh, let's be honest, we should go back for Blind Rage probably, but I'm not going to do it just because... I really 100% need to make sure we make it to boss rush. And now I'm like, oh, Curse of the Labyrinth? No problem. Usually that, that cuts a, a minute or two off your time, and we were already a little ahead of the split. But let's try to make this floor work for us. You might be saying, NL, I thought you like didn't really care about Tear Detonator. What happened? Well, I actually started... Uh, well, when Kate and I were doing her stream last night, we were playing Rebirth... Or, sorry, Afterbirth Co-op, and she got Tear Detonator... And was like, this is one of my favorite items in the game. And I was like, oh, I don't really uh, appreciate it. Blah, 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 blah. And then, um, it makes me sound like a dick. I was, I didn't say I didn't really appreciate her. I said I didn't really appreciate the item. And then she used it, and I was like, oh, right. I've had that on one run and loved it. But then I guess just forgot about it afterwards. Um, yeah, so in certain situations, Tear Detonator could be good. The great, even. But, um, unfortunately, I don't really want to get rid of my D6 yet. Because getting Tear Detonator is not worth losing are like much better chance of having guppy I guess it sucks that we won't be able to use our money shops ended up being relatively strange for us so at this point bombs become probably more valuable than money so we're not gonna blow up the shopkeeper 
I do still think that we're putting down a pretty good performance here. I mean, it's it's a nice change of pace. Ooh, could be an arcade, so we'll just hold off on that Eternal Heart for now. Well, this is pretty much exactly what we were talking about, so we'll only get to play it once, and then it will explode. Um, we I forgot that we had a reroll left. I guess we'll just use it on this boss fight here, and then don't do the second boss fight. Um, it, it's a nice change of pace for me to not have... Uh, taken much damage despite having a really nice orbital setup because normally I start to play you you could argue probably a little too aggressively once I get orbitals in particularly sack dagger um, but uh, yeah we, we haven't taken very much damage at all mostly because the daily's been exceptionally kind with respect to our tier damage as well but look let's be honest what's left um, oh, poker chip uh, I think we're better off with a small speed upgrade Still could be an arcade, but I'm just going to pick that up because otherwise I'll forget it and people will be like, You walked past it like ten times! And I'll be like, I know. I sometimes am not the most detail-oriented person. There we go. SMB Super Fan is worth a reroll. Or is worth using a reroll to get. Now, the question becomes, is Little Gish worth taking or is Little Gish worth a reroll? I think probably Little Gish is worth taking, even though I've rerolled other familiars on this run. Um, because... Slow is a, a very nice tier effect. That's pretty much what, what it comes down to for me. Plus, it gives us a reroll that... Uh, that's an interesting one. Gives us a reroll we'll be able to use on what I assume will be a really good chance at a deal with the devil. And even if we fight Krampus, there is, there's no salt to be found for me right now. Because they've already given us such amazing items on this run that... You know, we really can't be like, oh, well, oh, don't make me fight Krampus and get a 50% chance of getting an item I'm actually quite fond of anyway. That was dumb. And, you know, if it's Krampus' head, we just reroll that, so it's positive. Have taken a little bit more damage on this floor, but I still think we're, we're taking a competitive amount of damage. You know, probably averaging, like, a hit per floor. That's pretty standard. And by standard, I mean, like, probably a little bit above average, at least. Oh, another... Fat Bat Tomo fly back there. And we do have enough HP to start considering self-sacrifice rooms, but I really think we have to wait. Maybe even until Shoal, to be honest with you. I think it's more beneficial. It's a library? Yeah. Hmm. Well, we have a golden key, so we should definitely, like, pop all of these and then re-roll it. Papa was a reroll room. Mama was a one night stand. Could play guitar and rope a steer before I learned to stand. I don't know where I'm going with this. I didn't write that song. That's by the Magnetic Fields. Home is anywhere with diesel gas. Love was a trucker's hand. Never stuck around long enough for a one night stand. <laughs> Not gonna keep it going, but hey, man, that's you're you're gonna think I'm making this up. That's off a a triple concept album called Sixty Nine Love Songs. It's pretty good, depending on your tastes, I guess. It's an it's an idiosyncratic band for sure. Uh, so I'm trying to get another reroll left. I figure, you know, the chance to reroll five books again, even if it doesn't immediately give us another, you know, five items, is pretty sweet. If we find a library again later, so I mean, the chance to get a a five item room is pretty swell. Cursed Eye is, it's a suicidal pickup right now. And I mean that in the nicest sense of the poetic license of the word. It will, it won't kill us necessarily, but it'll ruin our chances to beat Hus, Hush and probably Boss Room as well. Okay, we got the Mind, that's real good. We got uh, Capricorn, that's fantastic. We got Satanic Bible, is good for now. We got Game Kid, which does nothing for us, really, and we got Poop, that does nothing for us, really. Now, you're, there's going to be people, and they're going to be saying, hey, Ding Dong, um, do we have six rooms left? Possibly? Let's try. Um, they're going to be saying, hey, Ding Dong, um, why don't you go use Invincibility to play the Self-Sacrifice Room? Because you can get, like, halfway there. No, it's not. that's not how it works. It's all got to be done at once, basically. We can get both key pieces. Oh, amazing. G get the Congressional Medal of Honor. The Mega Satan door won't be there, especially because this run only goes to Shoal anyway. Um, I guess we'll take Punching Bag, even though I don't really like it. I'm not D4ing this run. It doesn't deserve it. It's been kind to me. There's three rooms and a boss left, which means we will not have a reroll. 
We can, you know, we got time, so we can shop around for a battery charge, but now I'm thinking we want to use that battery charge on what I assume is going to be a devil room, and uh, if we if we get it, it's probably going to be from the boss fight, so we'll also have a ton of rerolls from boss rush. I guess we could telepills out and continue to triple reroll uh, that that library, which would actually be pretty good. We'll telepills out after the fight's done. We're just gonna have to not get too far up our own butts because, uh, might as well find our second secret room, right? Too far up our own butts so that we can't make it to the hush fight. But with the mind, it should be pretty easy to make it to the hush fight. Infested for the 18th time. Perks, uh, really good pill for a self-sacrifice room, but there's no way we could have known. All right, let's, let's, uh, knock something out here. We definitely want to take this. Fight Mom. Mom stands no chance in the face of our, you know, outrageously good orbitals. That was dumb of me, but we won anyway. Um, we might as well take the Polaroid because it really doesn't matter. And a guppy item in here would be swell, but we didn't get one. In a way, it's kind of, you know, nice. Not nice, but not that bad because we didn't have any rerolls anyway. I think there was another infested in there. Okay, out of these... Unfortunately, we have to take one, and I only say it's unfortunate because I would have liked to have got, gotten a reroll to use on them, but um, check this shit out. Okay, this will either make me a genius or a complete idiot, but I figured we'd, we have enough time to come back here, reroll these two. We didn't get much out of it, we just got Mongo Baby, but we can still do Boss Rush, and this will also give us an opportunity uh, to... Oh, there's another battery charging you. No, 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 no. We got no time now. Now you gotta go. Um, but uh, this will also give us a reroll for our second item out of Boss Rush still. So I figured we might as well try to finagle it. How amazing would I have felt if that were like 2020? Instead, it's Mongo, baby. It's not bad, but it's not particularly incredible. So the Boss Rush door should still be open. Yeah, otherwise we would have royally screwed our... You can't... Uh, you can't... Uh... Can't um, fight Boss Rush after you take an item and teleport out. You'd think that someone who had done this probably 150 times would know that. So that's a colossal mistake that uh, uh, it really takes the wind out of your sails, i got to be honest, because that um, basically ruins our chance of, of getting in the top 100. If not the top 500. I mean that sincerely. I, I, basically, I'm an idiot. I did it all for Mongo Baby. Um... That is, that's idiocy. I recognize it's idiocy. I recognize that right away. I guess now, we'll still try, we can still put down a score that is fairly respectable, I think. Um, but what I'm going to try to do is also emphasize time a little bit, although I'm definitely still going to fight Hush. So we'll not, like, full clear every floor. It's possible that we can make up for, like, a 4,000 point deficit by not taking very much damage at all, but it's not very likely. Um, yeah, Death's Touch is not negotiable obviously. We might as well gamble a little bit here. We got Virgo as well, which can come through in the clutch for us. Nice! Yeah, we'll take that. It's it's decent. Obviously, take Death's Touch. Reroll that. Eh, it's not that good. Not worth losing the HP that we might want to use in a self-sacrifice room. We could still make a self-sacrifice room like work super well for us. If we find one. And there is one on this floor. But I think it's more valuable to get the hush points than to than to teleport. I think <laughs> it's not necessarily guaranteed. I'm I'm in uncharted territory here, I guess is what I'm mostly trying to get at. Oh, that was bad. Especially if we're trying to actually do the self-sacrifice room, but Yeah, okay, let's do hush first. Right, we can't get in there. Um I think it makes the most sense to do Hush first. 5,000 points. We get a 10,000 point for teleporting, but... I'm going by what uh, Europa said on Twitter. Europa, of course, uh, one of the devs responsible for Greedbutt. Also, like, consistently super high ranked on the dailies. Like, I, I toot my own horn a little bit. Oh, ooh, hey, I'm top, like, 5%. Oftentimes, Europa is, like, top 5 Oh, that would have been... Uh, maybe that wouldn't have done anything for the self-sacrifice room, actually. So, like, really, really high-quality player, obviously. And they said to me, if I remember correctly, the right thing to do most of the time is not teleport if it goes down to Shoal. Like, going... Not teleport before Shoal if it goes down to Shoal, I mean. Doing Hush and, uh... 
Doing hush and also being able to maybe get one on the next floor is more valuable, I think. Man, I got hit way too much there. We will become guppy. Has That has to be done. I think we reroll little brim, honestly. I need the HP necessary. Oh my fucking god. I, I have to take it, but I do need the HP. <laughs> I kind of desperately need some spirit arts here. Also, we're going to be real close to... Um, the battery charge is nice. We're going to be real close to... Uh, Hush during this fight. That's gonna be a little bit of a problem. Whatever. We're we're riding the fucking lightning here though. Let's go fight Hush. We're, we're making great time. Can't deny that. I still can't believe I teleported out of teleported out of boss rush like a complete idiot. Okay, well Tammy's head mom's knife is not very good necessarily, so it's a pretty good reroll. Opportunity. Invincibility plus Midas Touch plus Mom's Knife is nice. Um Unicorn Stump, Midas Touch, yeah. So Straight up. That's that's a huge get for us. Not necessarily on this fight, but in general. We're going to be taking Unicorn Stump, which means we want to reroll something. Probably Tammy's Head. Gives us Dead Eye. I don't know how that'll help us. I know what you're thinking. Box of Friends, you got so many awesome familiars. But Unicorn Stump, Midas Touch, I think is going to be better. I'm going to take the Devil. And Unicorn Stump. I'm gonna get a ton of invincibility in here. Oh man. We should pop the devil card. I really don't want to get that close. This will also effectively make Incubus like hot trash. But our our flies are gonna be so much better. Now pop unicorn stump, get in there. Got sack dagger. Incubus is almost getting some hits done there. Yeah, this, this damage is worth it. I do think that we probably made the right decision. What I love about Isaac is that it's not always clear there is a right decision, you know? Or it's not always clear until later, at least. But uh, I do think that our damage here compensates for the risk. And also the <laughs> relative loss of Incubus. Which is one of the items I consider among the best in the game. Real question is, are we going to be able to do jack shit with a self-sacrifice room on the next floor, if, if there even is one? I would suggest that right now that answer is probably no. Oh, there we go. Okay, get in there. Is it Virgo? I think that was Virgo invincibility. We got a ton of invincibility out of that. So we want to head down. Which is our only option here. Man, this is 37,000. We're standing at 29. I actually think... Is there a self-sacrifice room? There's not. Okay, so this will be the end of our runway one way or the other. Can we get to 37,000 points? I think it's possible. I don't, I don't really know, honestly. <laughs> I'm pretty confident in our, our time stat. I think from a time standpoint, we're going to be pretty pretty nicely done here. Uh, we will... From a damage stand, I think we did okay. And uh, I, as we basically just have to live, and then we're, we're sitting pretty, but... I think Madness will probably get one over on us today. Uh, it, it really bums me out, because we might be at like 34,000, making it extremely likely that if I just wasn't an idiot... Um, and, uh, like, didn't teleport out of the boss rush so that I lost 4,000 points, like, instantly. We totally could have done this, like, without even having to worry about it at the least. But, you know, we're, we're gaining maybe, like, 100 points per room. That's 1,000, maybe 1,500 and change that we can get here. Um, we're going to be fighting the boss. We're going to be getting the... We're going to be finishing the run. We're going to be going to our second secret room. We're going to be exploding this judgment. We can go to our curse room. It'll cost us a hit. Which at this point, I got no idea, to be real with you. <laughs> I got no idea if that's, that's worth it, not worth it. Who knows? All I know is... I mean, we're putting down an incredible amount of speed here. It's going to be like a 27-minute... Satan run is pretty good considering we fought Hush. I guess we could just Unicorn Stump on the way out. 
Here's up is fine. Puberty is meaningless. Unicorn stump. Okay. Power pill should make it pretty easy. If we have like power pill and unicorn stump ready for our boss fight, I'm pretty sure we can do all three phases or at least, you know, several phases. The first two at least without getting hit or even like in danger whatsoever. We're going to fall short of 37,000 though and it basically makes me feel like a big idiot because we had a we had every available chance in the world. Without a doubt. Let's try to save uh, Unicorn Stump and Power Pill for after the Fallen. And then we'll basically be guaranteed to have nothing to worry about. So we pop Power Pill now and we're done. And we exit. We'll have like 34, 35,000. I'm an idiot. Great time rank at least. Decent score rank. Man, if you just added 4,400 onto that. I know we don't, we wouldn't get the same bonus for time, but still. That feels so stupid. I could have had like a 40,000 40, point run basically. Oh well. It was still a really fun daily. I just feel like I was kind of an idiot about it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.